All right, this is part two on building a portfolio using Adobe Acrobat Pro. And now that we've set up sort of the basics from video one, now we're going to start adding some files. So let's do that. Now to get a file and add it to your portfolio, you can drag files and folders right here in this space to add them. That's one way, just find it on your computer and click and drag it over there and drop them right in this area. And another way is to go down to the lower left hand corner and click on add files. So maybe we'll demonstrate both of those so you can see how it works either way. First let's drag some things from my desktop into this area of my portfolio. Start with a PowerPoint. Just click and drag. I want you to notice the green plus sign. If you see that, that's good. That means it likes that. Let go and it shows up. Alright, let's try this with a Word document. Same result. An Excel spreadsheet. Drag it in there. They all go in without a problem. How about a movie? A QuickTime movie. It goes in just the same. So that's the first way, just to click and drag and drop in. Notice that I've picked here the basic grid, and that's what you're looking at. It just lays them out as you drag them in. If I want to change it, let's say here's what the Revolve looks like. It's kind of neat. You can see the first one there, and if I want to view other items within this portfolio, I click on the arrow and it revolves through that. I kind of like that one. Okay, so just know that you can change these at any time. I'll go back to the basic grid for now. Now let's add some files a different way. Instead of dragging them in and just dropping them into the space, let's go to the lower left hand corner of the window and click on add files. By clicking on that, it allows you to search your computer for whatever document it is, or picture, or movie, or whatever. So let's try a photo. We have not tried a photo yet, so I'll click on Photos. And let's just pick one here. Snow scene. Let's pick a snowman. Okay, and it goes. So that's another example. So far we've done PowerPoint, Excel, a Word document, a QuickTime movie, and here's a JPEG. All right, our next task, we're going to add an entire folder. Instead of dragging things or selecting things one at a time, let's add a folder with maybe a couple items in it. So go to the bottom left-hand corner and it says Add Existing Folder. When you click on that, you can search for documents within your computer. I'll go to my documents. I'm going to find a folder. Let's pick this one, this AT Fair. And it looks like it has a PDF and a Word document in it. So that's two things, but it is a folder that I'm bringing in, not a specific, just one document, but a folder. And when I say choose in this case, you'll note that it loads just the same. And now I have a folder. Okay, whereas before these were Excel, this is a Word document, or a movie, or a picture, but this is an actual folder. So to get to the contents of that, I would have to double click on it, and then I can see what's inside that folder. So as you get more and more uh, items in your portfolio, you may want to think about uh, arranging things in folders. If I want to get back to my main screen, I simply click back which is in the upper left hand corner. So let's click back and there is my AT Fair folder. Let's talk about this for a minute. If you wanted to add a description of what it is you're looking at in any of these uh, documents that we've dragged into our portfolio, simply click on it and you may type in a, a quick description. This is my AT Fair stuff. 
Seems pretty apparent. Okay. This one is pricing for Microsoft and so on. So now you have a little description of what it is that you're looking at. Something to think about.